This is what telephones looked like in Sweden in the 1930s to 1950s. The black material is bakelite and there's also a lot of steel inside, so the whole thing weighs about 3 kilos. I found this particular one many years ago in a second-hand shop and it has some curious modifications. So there's a switch here, uh, which I think was for muting the microphone, and there used to be two mechanically linked buttons here. And they were used to turn the bell on and off, uh, so you could put the phone in a do not disturb mode. But I've rebuilt this into something else. So I removed the mechanical buttons, I put in this green push button with a light inside, and this is now a venting hole where heat can escape. So what's generating the heat? Let's have a look. Slotted screw heads, of course. The SID chip used in the Commodore 64 is notoriously hard to emulate because of its analog filter. Hard, but not impossible. You just need a bit of processing power. So I took out the big bell that used to be here, and I put in a quite powerful Raspberry Pi 3. And then I wrote some software based on the Resid FP SID emulator. And now this is no longer a telephone, but the dial a SID party jukebox for SID tunes. So you bring it to a party, you plug it in, you connect this to the party sound system. Oh, and you also need to bring this. Over 2000 hours of SID music. That's the high voltage SID collection, which is a huge actively maintained database of SID tunes. All that music is in here. And by default, if we turn on playback, It'll just play random tunes from the collection. So, pick up handset, dial code for desired tune, composer or year, listen in handset, push green button to add tune to playlist, and hang up. Let's try that now. I'd like to hear something by Hubbard. H. Uh, Hubbard, Rob, here we go. Here's all his tunes, and let's pick thing on a spring, 67540. Now we have thing on a spring in the receiver. Now we can add that to the party playlist. The jukebox uh, was just playing random tunes because the playlist was empty. Uh, but now we've queued up thing on Spring to play next. There's actually a special number you can dial to skip ahead to the next song. On the real party it would be rude to skip other people's songs, but let's do it now. So we dial uh, zero, 01. And here's thing on a spring. You may have noticed that in the phone directory every composer have their own number as well. When you dial that number you get a random tune by that composer. So let's hear a random Galway tune. G. Galway Marty 77700. Good, let's add it to the playlist and skip ahead. So, this is a random song by Galway, and we may not know what it's called, and perhaps we want to find out. And on a party, we might hear a particularly good SID tune on the sound system that somebody else has added to the playlist, and we're dying to find out which one it is. Then we can call double zero, and a voice will tell us the number, composer, and title of the currently playing tube. So let's do that. Hello. 
now playing tune seven 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 nine six slash musicians slash g slash Galway Martin slash Wisball dot sit sub tune seven. Before that, it was two six seven five four zero slash musicians slash h slash hypergrab slash thing on a spring dot sit sub tune one. Did I mention that this is also a time machine? Has anybody ever told you 1985 called they want their music back? Well, now you can call 1985 and hear what the sig music sounded like back then. So, 1985. So let's have a random tune from 15 years later in the year 2000. And here's a random tune from 2020. Finally, if you dial 03 followed by a phone number, you're setting up the default number that the jukebox will fall back on when the playlist is empty. By default, this is special number 02, which will play any random tune from the database. But you can set it to any phone number. So let's do 03 and have it fall back on a year. And now, we can party like it's 1999. 